It's uh, part of Jandicott um, Regional uh, Park. It's also located um, within the city of Armidale and, and in Forestdale. It's this site here. So this is the map of the Jandicott uh, Regional Park and this is the Anstey uh, Keen area here. This uh, site has 381 species of native flora that have been recorded. That was certainly according to Bush Forever documentation. This was the second highest uh, number of floral species um, out of all the Bush Forever sites. Um, it is second only to Greater Brixton. The Anstey Keen um, site includes rare flora and two threatened ecological communities. However, it is important to note that a full survey of the site has never been undertaken. Um, far more species of flora and fauna may in fact exist in the site than have been recorded to date. Um, for example, two years ago in December 2010, the WA Museum uh, reported the discovery of a new species of bee um, in the site. This is popularly known as Megamouth. <laughs> The site is uh, bounded by um, Armidale Road here to the south. If you ever go along Armidale Road, you'll see a, a, have a brief glimpse. Um, Anstey Road up through here, uh, Ranford Road um, to the north. The site has eight owners and managers. Uh, two lots are still in private hands up, up here. Um, one lot is uh, in the Department of Planning's keeping, uh, this lot here. One lot is in Landcord's hands, this lot here. Um, a road reserve is vested in the city of Armidale, through here. Um, Water Corporation has a drain. There's a cast of thousands. Um, and Western Power has an easement for two um, sets of power lines that cross through there. And the, the balance is managed by, by deck, um, the, these lots um, through here. So the easiest place to access the site if you want to go and have a look is at the corner of um, Anstey and Keene Roads, uh, precisely there. There's a stile there that you can walk over. Now the site is facing many threats. For a start, the city of Armidale is proposing to extend Keene Road right through the middle of the site and has been doing so for nearly five years now. This proposed road will not only um, destroy the flora in the, in the road reserve, which contains some of the most pristine um, in the whole site, but also seriously compromise the fa fauna who live there, including bandicoots and uh, kangaroos. This photograph was taken in in 2008 in the road reserve and I reckon that uh, rue um, footprint is about that long which makes that a fairly sizeable rue. Now the proposal for the road was first made uh, as I said nearly five years ago and a public environmental review has been in preparation uh, that may be released for public comment before the end of the, or this year. I've been saying, we've been saying that for about five years now. And participants at this conference are encouraged to make a submission um, opposing um, the road. There is also an important damp land, as you can see from the slide, and so it should be nominated uh, to the Director of Important Wetlands in Australia to try to ensure that its values are conserved and not compromised by a road through it. The Wetlands uh, Conservation Society um, and the Friends of Forestdale are encouraging the state government to make the nomination, but Minister Marmion is not replying to our letter. This is an embarrassing uh, lapse of ministerial protocol, especially when his counterpart in Minister Day um, has replied to several letters about the Anstey Keen uh, site as a Bush Forever site. Um, but this site is uh, being regularly damaged uh, by off-road vehicle use and um, rubbish dumping as you can see. So the Urban Bushland Council and the Friends of Forestdale are calling on the State Government to expedite as fast as possible the acquisition of the two lots in private hands. In the, meaning, in the meantime we are calling on them to have a blitz on the weekend against off-road vehicle use. 
We're also calling on the City of Armidale to cede its vesting in the Keene Road Road Reserve. It has ceded its vesting in various road reserves in Bush River Site 345 around Forestdale Lake. Uh, the reasons for doing so and the conservation values of the site are well documented in Bush River. So um, here is my report card. <laughs> Land acquisition, fail, seeding of road reserve, fail, prevention of off-road vehicle use, fail, prevention of rubbish dumping, fail, nomination to Directory of Important Wetlands in Australia, fail, stakeholder cooperation, a pass. And I, I must say that the Friends of Forest Style sit on the Anstey Keed Management um, Group that Julia Cullity, you still here, Julia? Yeah, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Julia chairs this and um, I think at this kind of middle, can I call you middle management? Kind of middle management level stakeholder cooperation, um, Julia's done a fantastic job, um, you know, having to work with, you know, Land Corps, Water Corps, um, Western Power um, and Department of Planning to try to get some coordinated management has been a very difficult job, but um, Julie has um, been exemplary in what she's done. But this certainly shows a, a lack of leadership by government and senior management, and so yeah, that's a fail on that too. And then overall, a the conservation of bushland fail. Now, um, I prepared this uh, report card for, for the minister, but he uh, skipped this class. In fact, I, I think he's wagging school. Um, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, post this um, to him in the, in the mail. So um, he gets the, um, our report card on what he's uh, done, or not done. Put him into detention. Well, we, we used to have truant officers who would go out and seek him and expel him. Anyway. Um, on a perhaps a more positive um, note, um, one of the things that we, we have done, um, and we did this quite a long time ago, this was, this was 2009, in um, landscape, in order to, to raise the awareness of the conservation values of this area, you, know, we, you need to have glossy pictures. Uh, and we published this article in uh, Landscope. Now today we have brought along um, quite a few copies of this and there, there are uh, piles of them lying around and I have some more. I encourage you to take these uh, for your friends and family if they're interested in doing a submission on the PER uh, when it is um, released or you might encourage them to do um, a submission on the PER uh, when it is released because um, this um, is a four-folded or four-sided or two-sided bifolded um, reprint from, from Landscope, which has some stunning uh, pictures of some of the um, flora um, in the reserve.